Hello viewers, I'm Caroline Gasheri. I'm a student. I fellowship at Christ Fellowship Chapel. Uh, it's around uh, Rafiki Market. And today I would like us to share a devotion. Uh, and the title, I would like us to look at the chains of life. God takes our apparent misfortunes and uses them as opportunities for his ministry. Driven from the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 12 to 13. Uh, here you find that like Paul was chained, was put into chains simply because he ministered, simply because he served God. But this did not limit him, did not make him not to, to worship God, not to praise God, not to spread the gospel of God. Like he could, he could do it, do it even more than he did it before. He could do it more, more than even he did it when he was to the public. Okay, I would like us to ask ourselves this question. Are we, are we able to serve God in the chains that we are in? As we go through this uh, devotion, okay, ask yourself, what kind of chains are in my life? What are these things that the Satan, Satan has put, has tried to, uh, to pressure me, like I find it hard to worship God. I find it hard to praise God. I find it hard to show that I, 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 am, a, I am a born again child. What are these things? You may find there are things maybe from your family, like you find each and every time your family can't give you that peace. You can't have that peace. Like on Sunday, kuna shidamingi, like your mom, your dad, they are pressuring you. And then you're like, God, why is this? God, why do you have to put this into my life? God, why do I have to pass all this? These are the chains that the devil has tried to put into our life. These are the chains that the devil is trying to bring so that we not be able to worship God, so that you may find an excuse. Like on Sunday, I'm like, okay, I can't attend service. I'm like this, like my mom is this and this. Okay, you find it, it hard. Youth service, like, kama kuna youth service, kama kuna fellowships, kama kuna, okay, meetings, unafa ku attend, uh, maybe youth, maybe the church or whatever. You find it hard, like you're occupied. For last today, I would like us to tell God to help us. I would like us to tell God to remove, to, uh, to remove these chains that we may be able to serve God. And from, from that, like, it's not only that, the, that God to remove those chains. No, you may tell God, like, in these chains, I want to worship you. Like we be like Paul, we can worship God in this chance. Like your mom is limiting you. Like your dad, your job is limiting you. You can't do it well. Like the people maybe you are in, in your work, you can't do it well. Tell God like, God give me grace. I have to do this despite what I'm facing. I have to do this. God help me. Another thing is that it is our okay it is our high time to tell god that his will to be manifested in our lives like you know kuna mambo mingi yenye si kama wanadamu tunapitia especially christians like unapata vile you're trying to draw closer to god the more the temptations comes into your life the more the satan is trying to bring things to pull you away. Like you can't serve God, you get it. Like you understand, mostly like if you've entered, if you've given your life into salvation, it's the beginning. Unapata kuna challenges mingi. And these challenges, if you've given your life seriously, like ume, you've devoted yourself, like you want to serve God, these things shouldn't limit you. Since you have the most high God, the helper, and God brings a long helper. And this, this is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us. The Holy Spirit is our helper. 
anatusaidia like in any situation that we may be in god brings the helper and this we are able to reach we are able to accomplish our missions like okay another thing is that we may be imprisoned but the word of god is not imprisoned and this what i mean by being imprisoned like in in that circumstance in that situation in that okay in that situation that you find it's hard it's hard to serve god like you find it it's like the world has come to an end you may ask even god to take you soon because umefika mwisho the word of god is not prison remember that the word of god is not prison my viewers continue 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 praising god continue worshiping god continue reading the word of god continue praying in whatever thing that may make you to feel discouraged remember prayers prayers are the key thing to salvation without prayers you nothing without prayers you can make it without prayers you can reach the promised land and that is life after death you can't reach simply because you can't dedicate your your your, your request to god you can't dedicate your supplications to god so remember prayers as we, as you tackle you, your life issues remember prayers in the chains that you may be in remember prayers remember to call unto god remember to tell him all your needs because he says bring unto me all who are heavy loaded simply because he will remove that load once umeomba ukiomba god aki kuna feeling nyingine by the way inakujianga mtu you feel like ha ah, i'm relieved like kuna kitu nilikuwa na kuna burden nilikuwa nayo lakini mungu ameniondolea let's seek that that thing like when you pray you feel like god now i'm i'm good i'm good thank you jesus remember to tell god thank you in whatever thing remember to tell god thank you when you're happy when you sad when you're facing challenges tell god thank you simply because he is he who commands even the devil like in job he commands the devil like to bring temptations to you just because he want maybe to see your faith your faith how is it like okay kitu muhimu ni kuomba na kushukuru Mungu in everything that we do kwa hizo shida zote unaweza kuna pitia kwa hizo chains remember to tell god thank you paul being in prison did not mean that he couldn't serve god no he couldn't serve god and serve god like he, any i look one aongelesha akina titus akina timothy you see these people and i want be like you continue serving god as you pray for me because all this is happening for the glory and honor of the lord everything that happened to paul happened for the glory of god so let's find in our hearts it's simple to worship god it being simple to serve god in whatever thing that all situation that we may be in that's all a hand for today I hope that will be blessed. I pray that God will will make it easy for those who find it hard to serve God. If it's you you, you first time like you've started worshiping God, you've started serving God, you've just entered into salvation. May God help you. May God strengthen you because without strength in this salvation, without faith you can't make it. So, let's pray to God that everything that is will be manifested into our lives let us pray jesus we come before the presence we worship you lord thank you jesus because of this devotion god we pray that jesus you may help us oh father that jehovah lord we may worship you 
in, 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 in our circumstances, God. In the chains, Jesus Christ, may you help us, oh God, as you give that grace to Paul, God. Help us, my dear and everlasting God. We pray that Jesus, you may strengthen us. The Lord, you may give us the courage, God, because you are worthy. Help us, oh God, to find it easy to uh, read your word. Help us, Jesus, to find it easy even to pray, Jesus. Help Jehovah Lord Almighty, each and every person, Jehovah Lord, those who, who, who are coming into salvation, Jehovah Lord, to find it easy to seek you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you. In Jesus' name that we pray and give thanks. Thank you.